Hey traders, this is Tosh. I go by T Bradley 90 in the My Investing Club chat. Today, one of our moderators, Matt, who goes by Chicago Trader in MIC, has a how to series every Sunday on fundamentals or reading filings. And today, we have a special video on SGMO ticker and AQB and deep dive into both of them. And while today is just a preview of the full-length video, if you want to watch the full-length or any of our exclusive content, then become an MIC member. Hey, what's going on, guys? Chicago Trader checking in here on uh, Friday, April the 5th. Um, just want to cover a few names that I've kind of touched on in the past week and uh, a few of the offerings that have been going on in some of these uh, larger biotech stocks. Um, so let me jump right into it, and uh, I apologize. I've still been sick this whole week, so... Um, SGMO is another one, uh, large cap, uh, biotech stock that gapped up on some news. Um, you can kind of come here to the daily chart and see it's been at a pretty nice, uh, downtrend since the beginning of 2018, but, uh, you know, gaps up from nine to 12, which, um, you know, three point move is a pretty big move for a, a stock that has a bigger float and is a uh, big of a company as this one is. Uh, you can see it's about, you know, $1.3 billion company. So, um, for myself personally, again, it's not investment advice on my part or MIC, but uh, I've kind of warned against some of these biotechs, uh, even some of the smaller ones um, that gap up and they hold for a week or two, especially after they do an offering. And, um, you know, for me, it's just something I don't, you know, it's above my pay grade trying to understand how good, um, you know, a drug or approval is. But uh, clearly when they gap up, they hold, someone usually is buying them. Um, if you guys remember, uh, the first one I kind of mentioned was AXSM when it kind of broke this, uh, you know, $9. It's been a high flyer since it went from, you know, $2. Um, what I touched on last week that looks pretty good, uh, Derm, if I can zoom in here. It did a pretty large offering. Um, you can see the kind of a nice day. It looks similar to the AXSM uh, with Derm. I forget how large that offering was. 120, 125 million, yeah, 130 million. Again, good underwriter city. Um, you know, Guggenheim. You know, you got some of the smaller guys on there too, but uh, definitely don't want to fight them. Can't remember if I mentioned it in last week's video, but uh, I, I believe I did. Maybe it was with a trader. What a lot of these guys do is the book runners. If you allocate for X amount of shares of this offering, say you want 100,000 for your clients and you only get 50, a lot of times what they'll do is. Uh, you know, they'll take the 50,000 shares that they get from the offering. And this one was discounted to 1325. Yeah, so priced really well. They'll go buy in the open market. And you can kind of see Durham, um, you know, maybe if you didn't get allocated, you can just go buy it in the open market for actually, you know, 50 cents less here at 13. Um, what was the other one? SGMO, yeah. So this was the other one this week that gapped up. Um... So gaps up here. This one I definitely was not uh, confident on uh, with it being an offering. So let me scroll down. I was kind of just doing a quick run through. Hey traders, this is Tosh. I go by T Bradley 90 in the My Investing Club chat. Just wanted to reach out and say if you have any questions about MIC, joining MIC, maybe you're a member already, you have three ways to contact myself personally and through MIC. You can hit our social media, you can hit me through PMs in chat, or you can contact us through my email at tosh at myinvestingclub.com. That's T-O-S-H at myinvestingclub.com. I will get back to you in a timely manner, and I'm saying this because I'm here to help, and I don't want anybody to be afraid to reach out and ask any question that they have. We are here for you guys. All right, see you guys.